that you're curious I know that you're strong But life can be furious And things can go wrong You go, you go We're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows If we get joy or sorrow Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul Don't trench your desire in what you can't control We fly, we fly, try so hard together And we might, we might, be lost but not forever There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end Ridiculous, you're not even close. Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those. We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all. We get a little wiser. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end, the end And if you ever wonder There is nothing wrong with a little thunder Things in life you simply need to know About sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end There's things in life you simply need to know About sun and rain and trust in letting go it takes a bit of suffering and sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end mm -hmm. Before you make it safely to the end So, literally minutes before he, my husband, got off of work. They told him he was good to go. A way to keep suspense for someone who is trying to move on with their life, at least half of it. Um, but I'm just grateful that my husband does get to go with me and I don't have to do this trip alone. I'm packing the car, just trying to make space of all the different, like, different snacks that we're gonna bring. That's pretty packed back there and I'm just trying to do as much as we can until we leave. I wanted to see some stuff and maybe see the Deception Pass Bridge. I don't know if that's going to happen, which is one of the big visitor things that people do here. But um, I don't know. We're going to leave hopefully by 6 in the morning tomorrow. And then we should be on our way for our first stop, which is California. We're gonna be going to Crescent City, California, which I exact I know exactly where that is because that's the exact place I went to stay when I went to the Redwoods. Um, so we're gonna go to the same hotel we went there because I know it's dog friendly. And then that's the first stop. So hopefully you get there safely. It's about 10 hours away from here. So I'm gonna continue to do this and Hopefully get everything done so I can get a good amount of sleep. Want to 
say bye to my mini garden, my last garden in Washington. Everything's flowering and parsley. Little tour here. Flowering oregano. How beautiful. We have a really dead, I think this was cilantro. This was a sugar snap peas. My flowering dill. It's pretty long. Forest of everlasting mint. Here and there. Here you go. You can see that one. Have some marigolds on this side too. And some more zinnias. These are just flowers over here. Little miniature zinnias. They're so small, but they're so cute. And we have my calendula. That one. So orange, the color is insane. Some more calendula here, some baby ones. We have, I forgot what these were called. We have these flowers over here. My mini mammoth flower, some flowers that I bought from a starter. First time ever planting starters. I always grow them from seeds. This is the first time because I wasn't expecting to even grow anything this year. But they grew pretty tall. I mean, I'm not going to see them flower, but that's okay. I have my basil, my strawberry patch. They gave us a good amount of strawberries. My raspberry patch here that gave us a good amount of raspberries. And that's it. So our front yard garden here. Oh yeah. We have the alpine roses that were and we have some of these. I don't know what these are called, but yeah. Oh, can't forget these. Pretty flowers here and there. Bye bye mini garden. On to bigger gardens. So I just finished getting gas. I'm washing more clothes. That's I put my jacket in there, so that's why I have a new one. But yeah, fill it filled up uh, for tomorrow morning. So we're gonna head out in the a.m. at six in the morning do a 10 hour trip to Crescent City, California. And there we will start our big journey to Florida. It, it doesn't seem real because it's like half of a move I, for me. I mean, I still don't, I'm still not gonna have my husband with me so I just feel like there's still a part of me missing but I know it's, a, it's at least the first step. I pretty much packed as much as I could in this car, even like little, spaces I would stuff things and just trying to take as much as I can but I think that's it I can't I can't squeeze in anything else so hopefully it's not going to be too late till I'm done with this laundry so I'll be sure to vlog the drive over to Florida I'm going to be hitting a couple of states so my husband's with me uh so he'll help me with that and yeah, I can't wait to keep on filming and keep showing the journey. I feel like this is great to, to show, I mean, especially years from now when I look back of where I was. Um, it's a long time coming, so I, I just can't believe it. It feels like I wanted something so bad, and it's coming 
it's actually here. Um, you know, it's not, it's not like I'm getting my land like as soon as I get there, but at least I'll get my kids situated and see how it is to live in Florida again. I'm originally from Miami, Florida, so it's going to be cool to be back in the Sunshine State. I need sun. I need more sun <laughs> because Washington's too gloomy for me. Beautiful place, but it's just not home. So if you haven't subscribed, please do like this video if you like it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can